Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back. It is Wellness Wednesday, and we are in our Adventist Health kitchen once again. And we're joined today by Priscilla Verdrano with Edible Schoolyard Kern County, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. Who's ready for fall? I know I, I think all of us are after we the definitely are. that yeah. we've been seeing. So we have the perfect recipe to get started for fall pumpkin muffins. I'm so excited yes. to hear this one. So there's a big hit at our kitchen um, at work. So. It is naturally sweetened by maple syrup. We have this um, pumpkin puree that's really rich in fiber and vitamin C. And we have our whole wheat flour, our all purpose flour, and our pumpkin spices. So let's start off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start off by adding my pumpkin puree, which again is full of fiber and vitamin C. I love adding pumpkin to everything I can during the fall. It's gonna make it super moist. All right, I'm gonna add my maple syrup. Mmm, that looks delicious. It adds such a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. Our it olive goes really oil. well with the pumpkin, too. It's like a really good fall it's flavor It's a natural itself. pairing. Mm -hmm. And right. that was olive oil, right? Yes, from our garden. Okay, fantastic. And we have our eggs, again, which come from our garden as well. So I'm going to crack our eggs into this bowl. So you never know when you get those little eggshells in there. Mm -hmm. Why do you prefer the olive oil over just like regular cooking oil? So olive oil has a really nice, uh, like a mild buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. So we really want to use that and it's really good for you too, for your heart health. That's fantastic. Add if you can add that to it, why not? Yes. So while you mix this up, if you could add in the dry ingredients and okay. uh, mix them together. Just all the dry ingredients Yes, all of them together. Okay. Yeah. And we've got our whole wheat flour and yes. you mix the whole and the white, I yes. see here. Why do you do that? So if you were to add all whole wheat, um, you could really taste it be a little grainy. Okay. Um, and it, you'd need more liquid. So it just adds a really nice little two some bite to the muffin. Okay. And yeah. probably a little more fiber, right? Fiber, yeah, nutrients. nutrients. All right. That's fantastic. Oh. There's our cinnamon. Oh, so good. Those are nutmeg. I love nutmeg and cinnamon together. These are gonna be super fluffy. All right. Oh All my right. gosh. I know. Smells amazing. All right, so if you could add the dry into the wet. Okay. So it's gonna be team effort. So I want you to pour it all in. So fast and easy here. It really is. And if you wanted to include the kids at home, you could totally do that too. They could crack the eggs. Mm -hmm. They could measure out the liquid ingredients. Um, they could scoop the batter into the muffin tins. If you wanted to make this into a cake, you could also do that. Ooh, fun. Yes. So. Yeah, my kids love trying to crack the eggs. It is definitely an art, though. <laughs> it really is, <laughs> they yeah. They have to learn over time. They but love, getting better at it. They love doing it. We should teach our kindergartners how to do that first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. I know. All right, so I'm going to take out our little tin. So we have our little ice cream scooper, okay. which is handy for portion control. So we're going to grab one scoop, scoop it right in there. We want these little fluffy. Okay, you, so put, put you fill two. them like, almost to the top? Almost to the top, okay. yeah. Not we like those little. muffin tops. I right. love the um, silicone uh, yeah. muffin holders. These That's don't nice. create as much waste. That's nice. All right. So these are going to go into a 350 degree oven okay. for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Fantastic. All right. So when they are done, this is how they come out. Ooh. They're nice and fluffy and they're super moist. So we'll get a plate out. And here is the final product. So you guys teach your kindergartners what ages to make this? Um, kindergartners are what, seven, eight? Okay. And we also make this with fourth graders. Okay. So it's a lot of fun, yeah. Fantastic. And do you find that getting the kids involved with making it gets them more excited to eat something? Definitely. They will eat kale, pumpkin, wow. anything, yeah, as long as you get them involved in the kitchen. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And you know, another fun thing um, I like to do when I'm making muffins like this, I, you know, I have a bunch of stuff in my pantry that I can throw in there, other healthy things, and, and maybe like oh, yeah. raisins or whatever, if or some walnuts. If you had walnuts. carrot puree, any sort of puree would, have, would work great with this. Okay, yeah. so you could have used that in place of the pumpkin puree? Yes. Oh, butternut and squash, carrot yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We've got our pumpkin muffins. They smell amazing. A perfect recipe for fall for you. And we're going to share this online at kget.com. So you can go there and yes. grab that. And we're going to have a lot more recipes like this. They're fun, they're healthy, and they're a great way to get your kids involved in the kitchen. Or if you don't have kids, just make them yourself. They're delicious. Thank and you. again, a good addition to your diet. Thank you. Priscilla, thanks so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, and we'll be right back after this.